everybody. Today we're going to talk about the present continuous. Let's see how it's different from the present symbol. So the present continuous consists of subject, which is I, we, you, they, you, no one, he, she, it. But here is a little bit different. Why? Because we use am, is, are, follow the subject, and the verb also is different because it's ing. So I am playing football. We are playing football. They are playing football. You are playing football. He is, she is, it is, and so on. So remember that I take am, we take are. They are, you are, he is, she is, it is. Remember the construction. I am is constructed of am. Um. He is, he is, or he has. So it depends on the context. For example, he is a good man. So this is short of he is a good man. But if I said he is three cars, so that means he has three cars. So it depends on the context. I prefer you write he is or he has better than he is. But in the conversation, they usually say this forms. She is. She is or she has. It's. It is or it has. You are or you were. You are. There. They are. We're. We are. One message of the present continuous. Something is happening now. At the very moment. At this very moment, it can also be used to show that something is not happening now. Please don't make so much noise. I'm trying to work. So, I'm trying to work now. Where is Mark? He is having a shower. So, some, people, some students say he has a shower, which is wrong. Because, actually, he's in the shower right now, right? So, he's having a shower. The second usage, the action is not necessarily happening at the time of speaking. For example, Kate wants to, to work in Italy, so she's learning Italian. So perhaps she's not learning Italian at the time of speaking. Okay? She can learn Italian today and tomorrow, another day, and so on. So along the way, she's learning Italian. So when you tell your friend, because you're still learning, you would say, Are you learning Italian? Yes, I'm learning Italian. Are you, are you learning English? Yes, I'm learning English. Today and tomorrow and so on. This is the meaning. You can use the present continuous with these keywords. Today, this week, this year, periods around now. The company I work for isn't doing well or isn't doing so well this year. So this year, one of the keywords of the present continuous. Also, the present continuous can be used in near future. So, sometimes speakers use present continuous to indicate something will or will not happen in the near future. For example, is he visiting his parents next week? So, next week is near future. Next week, next month, next year, and so on. So, that's all about the present continuous. If you have any question regarding the present continuous, please type it below. See you soon.